All right, hey there YouTube, it's your boy Wrestling Optimus back with another video. We're gonna be doing another unboxing today. The problem is, I already shot this video and uh, basically messed it up. So this is round two, we're trying again. I got my uh, Penn State mask on because my beloved Chicago Bears just lost in a football game on Nickelodeon for some reason. Anyway, um, we also got my Big Daddy Cool shirt on here, and uh, I'm just going to kind of recap what I already did, and hopefully this video works out better. So, first things first, um, I kind of accumulated a lot of wrestling merchandise over the past week or so, so we're going to be um, looking at it, and yes, I have to keep fixing my mask, because as I talk, it keeps falling down. Anyway. <laughs> I got criticized by a friend by, about that last time. So first things first, rest in peace, John Huber, also known as Brody Lee, or Luke Harper in WWE. Uh, he was a fantastic man, and he will be missed by the wrestling community. So um, a lot of wrestlers are letting all their proceeds for the month of January on their various wrestling merchandise stores go to Brody Lee's family. And uh, in particular, AEW is doing that as well. So I went and got me a Brody Lee Exalted One shirt with the uh, awesome skull logo with the big old eye in it. So that's the shirt I got for myself. My girlfriend got a tank top. Let's see if I got it the right way here. And it's got this really cool Brody Lee uh, with the Dark Order crossbones looking thing here. Very satanic. Love it. So there's that. And um, I'm going to open up a loot crate in a second here. But uh, basically here's the t-shirt that came with it. And it is a Drew McIntyre t-shirt. Claymore Country. I actually don't have any merchandise for Drew McIntyre. So uh, other than a figure obviously. So um, that's really cool to have a Drew McIntyre shirt. The next thing that I took a look at was muscle. So basically, um, I watched a lot of toy documentaries recently, uh, including um, a show called The Toys That Made Us. I think it's on Netflix. And they were talking about uh, wrestling action figures. And then Toy Galaxy on YouTube. Highly recommend that channel. It is awesome. They finally did a video on wrestling action figures, and they ended up doing a part about muscle figures. So these are just tiny little figurines. They have no articulations. Uh, they do not move in any way. They're just a kind of display, and you see no color. They're just all one solid dumb little color, but uh, these are actually branded. Normally they weren't. They were just kind of generic wrestlers, uh, but here they're branded WWE. I managed to find two packs of them, and basically we have Hacksaw Jim Duggan, we have Sergeant Slaughter, the Million Dollar Man is Upside Down, the Iron Sheik, uh, Mean Gene Okerlund I think that is, and an Upside Down Ric Flair in a robe. So I'll put them up a little bit closer to the camera so you can kind of check them out. That's all the... Yeah, there's Rick up, upside down there in a robe. <laughs> but yeah, these are actually pretty cool. I like them. I might display them. I might even leave them in the box. I think they're kind of like collector's items, so... Kind of leave them. And the next thing I had was these blind boxes of with these little action figures. And you didn't know who was in them. Normally, I don't buy bl blind boxes because um, I, if I look at who could be in it, I only like, I don't know, one or two of the, the people, right? But I looked at the uh, the people in here, and, I mean, you got pretty much all my favorites from Finn Balor, Demon Balor, Sting, um, Undertaker, uh, Brock, etc. So, um, there's even some referees, and they all come with little accessories. So I've said, screw it, let's, uh, let's open up two of these. And they just so happen to be... Brock Lesnar and John Cena. These are really cool figures, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to take them out. Um, they have more articulations than a WWE Elite figure. Um, looks like neck, torso, shoulders, wrists, um, 
thighs and knees and ankles. So tons of articulations in these things. They actually look really good. Uh, Brock's like tattoos and stuff. Really nice. Um, and then each one comes with a little background to like stand them up in. And these two came with championship belts. So we got the universal title and the US title. And just for fun, I'm gonna put on my announcer's voice. And I'm gonna read off these little cards that came with them. They're kind of like trading cards almost. So, <clears throat> John Cena is the 16 time world champion and five time US champion. Was there any doubt Cena would become the living legend he is today? You practically knew you were glimpsing the future face that runs the place when a muscular Massachusetts kid threw down with Kurt Angle for a chance to become the, a true WWE superstar. After gaining the respect of his peers by stepping to the Olympic hero, Cena went supernova as the fire-spitting doctor of thugonomics. <laughs> Eventually reaching the peak by upending JBL for his first WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 21. Possessing the type of staggering strength and frightening intensity seen only among Superman villains, this 6 foot 3, 266 pound freak of nature from Minneapolis, Minnesota has forced his way to the top of every major combat sport. First scouted by WWE officials while smashing his way through the college wrestling ranks, Lesnar debuted on Raw March 18th, 2002, and single-handedly destroyed a ring full of unfortunate superstars. Plain and simple, the man was built to destroy. Title of your WCPW pay-per-view. Anyway, so those are pretty cool. I enjoyed them. And then the next thing I did was I opened up another slam crate. Again, not paid by them. I normally don't endorse loot crates of any kind or description because I generally don't think they're worth it. This one, for me personally, I think is worth it because I tend to like the stuff that comes with it. This one came with a little strip of paper though that says it's basically the April 2020 box that never went out because of the pandemic. So this is all themed to WrestleMania. <laughs> and the first thing we got besides the Drew McIntyre t-shirt is this. And I still don't know what it is. I have no idea. It's almost like flag material, but there's no grommets to like hang it. Um, it's not absorbent in any way, so it's not like it's a washcloth or anything. Um, I, so I don't know. It's a piece of fabric with a WrestleMania logo. So there you go. I know. Also got this Shawn Michaels decal. It looks like it's the type that's just like a sticker that you just kind of stick on something as opposed to sticking on like a window facing out. Um, so got to find a place for this, but I do have some ideas. Uh, but there he is, Shawn Michaels, the classic pose. Um, and I think that's a get up from one of the WrestleManias. I could be wrong about that. Oh, well. Uh, this particular uh, crate, the the slam crate does always come with a pin, I believe. Now, normally it is a faceplate for a championship belt, and I really, really like those pins. I think I showed on a previous video. I put them all on a uh, on a championship belt, but um, this time it is actually the full belt, and it's much smaller than normal. It also seems really, really thick. I don't know if you can see how thick that pin is, but <laughs> it's really thick. But still, nice pin, WWE Championship classic design and then the final thing now I've gotten some pretty weird stuff in these slam crates uh, I think one of the weirdest things I got is a uh, windshield screen um, for my car but this one takes the cake I did not get a figure normally you get some type of mini figure kind of like the, the ones I just opened up here with, with Cena but um, not this time I thought these were figures I really did, but they're not. These are salt and pepper shakers <laughs> of The Fiend and Bray Wyatt. So there you go. I, I, I think it opens up a lot of questions. Because um, <laughs> uh, first of all, which one's pepper and which one's salt? And like, is The Fiend pepper and The 
Bray Wyatt's salt because, like, good and evil, but then are you saying white is good and black is evil? I'm just saying that gets a little problematic. So, I don't I don't know. Um, it looks like you can kind of, I guess, just do whatever you want. Put the salt in whichever one you want and the pepper in whichever you want and you want, but that is some weird stuff. Here, let me actually take them out of here. So we see, they can... <laughs> they kind of look like these... I don't, I don't know. I had, um... I had toys growing up. They were, like, these kind of, like, villager peoples. And they look just like this. <laughs> so it's kind of taking me back to my childhood. But there you go. Cute little salt and pepper shakers for The Fiend and Bray Wyatt. Anyway, I hope you guys liked that unboxing video and seeing all that stupid wrestling merch. Uh, as always, uh, if you liked this video or any of my other videos, make sure to do all that normal YouTube stuff. Smash the like button. Uh, Share it with all your friends, and of course, hit subscribe. Uh, you can also talk to me over on Twitter at PSU Optimus, or you can check out uh, all my best figure photography over on Instagram at Wrestling Optimus. But until next time, I will catch you later.